Boosted John YouTube channel memberships are available now where you can get early access to videos, shout outs in videos, and exclusive access to my members only Snapchat account where you can call or text me at any time with any of your project car questions. Check it out in the video description or in the pinned comment down below. Thank you for your support, let's get started. Welcome back to another video. Today we are installing a K-tuned billet short shifter on the EG. I'm with Rob, we're in the Ram, and we're gonna grab some Starbucks real quick before we head over to the garage. We're also on another little side mission we're actually out by my old work. We're by Tesla. We're going through because my old boss is throwing away a table, like another workbench. So we're going to grab that, bring it to the garage as well. And then I'll have more space to clutter and, and leave tools and bolts. <laughs> <laughs> made it over to the boost bunker and we are about to start installing this new short shifter. I'm super excited. We already kind of like off camera mocked it up inside the car to see the height. It looks like it's going to be really, really tall, which I love. I've always wanted like a really tall shifter where I barely have to move my hand from the wheel to the knob to be able to shift. So I'm super excited to get it installed. I'm going to show it to you guys real quick before we get started, but it is the K-tuned billet short shifter. So it's already like kind of unpackaged. I've had it in and out a few times, but this is like the cool one with the, the bigger billet block on this piece. Lots of adjustment here. So we're going to probably even go higher with it once we get it in the car. This is the shifter base. This is obviously going to get bolted to the shifter linkage and then to the chassis. And then we're going to be able to adjust the throw by loosening this screw here and then twisting the whole thing, I guess is how it works. I do have one extra secret item that we're installing today. I'm gonna spill the beans right now, but that is a Hasport shifter linkage. I have it somewhere. It's from the EK and uh, I think that thing is gonna be beast. I got rid of the EK shell, by the way. I'll show you guys a clip of that right now. Bye, EK. Oh, it's so sad. unbolt that and, and then unbolt the um, shifter and then I'm gonna be under the car removing the old shifter linkage again this is a dope like passport one so it's actually it's really tight everything is super very little play all very nice I'm gonna get the old linkage out Rob's gonna clean this up and get it prepped for the new shifter <laughs> Through the shift knob. Neat. Um, put it in third. There we go. We forgot to do a Booster John album of the day in the last video, but this video it's gonna be Mac Delic by Mac Miller. Yes, let's go.
looks really cool. It already looks really cool. Yeah. Huh? Oh. 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 Holy crack, dude. Holy cow. I love it. This is what you do when you're doing running water, boys. Baby wipes. Clean your hands. Make sure your hands are clean. I think that don't they make uh, doesn't like Zep or yeah. some company make wipes? I was gonna say we should get some because that would be good. I should get those. Honestly, there was bro, something else. I need buckets too. Buckets. Just like regular buckets. I need two buckets. Harbor Freight. Oh yeah, dude. Especially with this lever being as long as it is, it's gonna be way less tight. Oh, I'm just tighten up like two of these. Are we doing ball knob or are we doing skunk two? What feels better? Go from steering wheel to shifter. We're gonna do a third gear pull. Let me lock it down. We're gonna do a third gear, third gear pull. Dude, this is like that uh, that moment in Emperor's Last Groove where it's like, pull the lever, cronk. <laughs> it is very nice. Basically, whichever way, one of the ways when you turn it, it's gonna make the throw longer or it's gonna make the throw shorter. It's really cool that you don't have to like go under the car to do this. That's actually, dude, this is the throw I want. That's it right there? Yeah, it's pretty short. It's way shorter. Yeah, I wish it's self-centered a little bit better. Um, okay, so then we need to figure out, I need to lock that down now. And then I can also set this height. I could make it taller. Yeah. Even. I'm gonna just try it and see. So wait, push it all the way into third. Dude, it's so tall. Should I see what this other knob looks yes. like? Yes. Mm, six speed? Dude, six speed upgrade for Yo, the, this is literally how you six speed swap your GSR. Six speed swap. You're gonna need the nut on there to, to, yeah, sit, to center I it. I just wanna get the idea of the. Ooh. Does that feel good? Yeah, it feels good, bud. It looks so good. Is that really how it sounds? I'm gonna take the EG out for a quick little spin with the new K-Tuned billet shifter in it. I'm pretty excited. Uh, it's a mod that I've wanted to do on this car for a long time, have the shifter up high, and honestly, it just looks really cool. So, I'm excited. Okay, it was in gear. <laughs> It's really tall. I might actually end up scooting it down a couple of clicks. We'll see. I think maybe if I drop it down like three clicks on this long shaft here, it'll be better. But it's pretty gnarly. Hey, at least we won't have any battery tip overs this time. Yeah, right, exactly. I'm curious to see if we get that battery light again. We'll probably go around the block a couple times, just get the battery to charge up. It's pretty gnarly. In a good or bad way? Uh, it's really high. I either have to get used to it or lower it, but it's really nice. It's like so close to the steering wheel that I keep forgetting it's there, and then I like <laughs> bump my hand on it. I saw it. I wonder why, it's really odd. When we get back to the garage, we'll touch all the uh, power wires to the battery and just see if they're getting hot. It's like as soon as we get into boost, it comes on. It's really nice, man. Like, go straight again. Yeah, here, let's, get, a, let's... get a couple of clips of the shifter. That's the sauce, that's the beans. Dude, it's just like so, it's like right where I want it. That's actually dope. I actually might leave it at this height.
Nice, yeah, maybe the battery is just slightly low on charge. Really like it. I think I am gonna lower it just a tad, just a few clicks down on this big long shaft right here. Show the boys. So like these are obviously, it's adjustable. It has all these adjustment points. So I'll move it down. So maybe like three dots are sticking out at the bottom, kind of how it was when I first got it. And then, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna put the acuity knob on. I think I'm gonna leave this going T1. I actually really like how this feels. Don't necessarily know if I love how it looks with the gray, with the black, with the silver. It's like a lot of colors. Yeah. But I would also love to get like a block off plate down here to kind of clean up the console. With that said, this is beast. Dudes, the EG did extremely well out on this little test rip, and that was the battery light stopped coming on, so that's good. We didn't, oh, I forgot to check if the, we forgot to check if the cables got hot while running. We'll check it next time. We'll check it next time, see if the cables got hot. But she ran really good, and uh, the battery light stopped coming on. So I'm sure the battery was just a little bit low on charge, and after driving it around for a little bit, it looks like the alternator charged it back up. So we are looking good on battery. I'm indulging in a little LaCroix, it's absolute beauty. Pineapple strawberry today. That's actually a banger. Give you guys another look at the shifter. You guys let me know what you think about the shift knob. And the height. It's really tall, which I kind of like, but it is a little awkward and the throw is still pretty long for being a short shifter with it that tall. And you guys let me know what you think about the knob. Should I keep that knob? Should I do a different knob? What do you guys think? I think overall it looks really good. It looks really cool. I think that with the right shift knob, it could look even better. And I think if I lower it just like a couple of clicks, it's gonna be like, Remo. We on a truck ride. Yeehaw. Yes, sir. Yee! Fountain creations and cocktails. Fountain creations? Cocktails. Yeah, right there. That's how You're you know. Dude, what time is it? I don't know. Oh. Breakfast time. <laughs> Little Euro omelet with feta and spinach. Some pancakes, syrup. Rob got a, what is that skillet called? This was the gypsy skillet, I think. Gypsy with skillet. The, uh, with sausage. That actually looks super good. Wrapping the video up here, guys. It is now about 8.30 at night. I'm editing the video, almost done. Just have to record the outro and throw this into the uh, rest of the timeline. But today was fun, man. Today was good. It's It feels good to do a mod and not necessarily do a repair at the same time, you know? I basically have just been like fixing this car and fixing this car and fixing little issues over and over and over for so long. And it feels good to finally have something to do on it that was just fun. Like that was not a need. Today's mod was not a need. Neither were the cam gears, I guess, but Today's mod was a want. One of the first things that I bought for this car that is a want in a very long time. I never like go to the store and buy myself new shoes. I never buy new clothes. Like the only clothes that I buy brand new are like my own merch when it comes out, right? And that's pretty much it. I buy almost nothing for myself. I buy food. I buy car stuff that I need for YouTube. I buy camera gear, very rarely, only when I absolutely need it. And that's pretty much all I buy. So it was pretty fun to buy something that I didn't necessarily need, but that I really wanted. And it's something that is a really quality product that I think is really cool. Going forward, I am gonna have to fix some things on the EG. There are some pretty major issues in terms of bolts being stripped, like bolt holes being stripped, and it's gonna be a pain to fix. I'm gonna have to take the radiator out, drain the coolant. It's just gonna be a pain. I'm doing the fun stuff now, but I know that I'm gonna get down to the meat and potatoes where I have to just fix more stuff. And it's kind of nice to at least take a break from that for a little while and get to enjoy 
working on this car and driving it before I dive into fixing stuff. Just a fun short little video for you guys. K Tune Billet Short Shifter. Let me know what you think. I personally think it's really cool. I really love it. I'd love to get like a little like stainless steel block off plate or something uh, for the center console so you can't like see directly in. And I would love to get a different shift knob and make some adjustments. I might go back to the black uh, powder coated spherical ball knob. I might try that one back out again. It looks cooler, I think, than the Skunk 2 one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try that for a little bit, I think. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. Road trip to Florida coming up in, I think, a month, less than a month. Ooh, just over a month, a month and three days, we are leaving to trailer this car to Florida. So it's gonna come up quick. I got a lot of work to do still, and this is gonna be fun. And now, this is epic. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Consider checking out YouTube memberships to support the channel and also get early access to all videos. The next video is already live. I have no idea what it's gonna be because I haven't filmed it yet, but I'm sure it's most likely going to be fixing bolt holes, doing the suspension mods, the camber arms, and uh, potentially getting it aligned. That's probably gonna be the next video. As I always say, boys, let's remember to plan, commit, execute, and attain our goals. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.